Alright people, welcome back. Another episode of Card Review. Today we are looking at Dragon's Bind. A card that a couple of people have been talking about. Like, oh my god, vanities! Oh my god, it's new vanities! So let's go ahead and look at it and determine whether this is the new vanities or not. So it is a continuous trap card that reads. Activate this card by targeting one dragon type monster you control with 2500 or less attack and defense. Neither player can special summon monsters with attack lower or equal to that target's original attack. When that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. Okay, I, I see where you're coming from, you know. Uh, dragons haven't been as powerful as of late, so why not give them their own vanities? You know, you gotta play a dragon. The only problem is with the power of Xyz, it's kind of easy for everybody to access this. Probably when you scratch your head like, what? There's a beautiful little monster, and his name is Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. God, that dragon is so good. Not only was it probably bef I know, after freaking, uh, was it Crazy Box? The go-to card for playing Eradicator before it got, well, I guess, I guess, no, Dark Rebellion came out after it got, uh, limited. But, you know, one of the prime candidates for Eradicator, 2500 Dark Monster, and a prime candidate for Deck Devi, higher than 2000 Attack Dark Monster. But now, it is also going to be a prime candidate for this card as well. Because that's totally good, you know. If you weren't playing Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon in your extra deck already, this is just another incentive. You know, it's a little bit inc more inconsistent than Vanities because, of course, if you can't bust out the dragon, this ain't doing anything. But if you can, you know, if you're playing Tone Knights, you can go, Alright, well, let me go ahead and just lock down my opponent. Let me just go ahead and go Altair, Summon the Neb, Search, go into Dark Rebellion. You can't attack with it, that's fine. Set the Dragon Bind. Go ahead, activate Dragon's Bind. And when you go ahead and try to summon a monster that's 2500 attack or, or less. No, sorry, you know. So that's not bad. So another dragon deck that has uh getting their cards back but hasn't been like back on the spot ever since is course Dragoonities. And uh what is something that Dragoonities is good at going into? Yeah, Stardust, which is of course twenty five hundred dragon. The only problem is that as soon as Stardust negates and tributes itself, it left the field, so this is gone. So boo. But there's a card that's similar to uh, Stardust that maybe they can go ahead and play as a substitute. Yeah, Spark. Now, ain't that a bitch? Fucking spark protecting this. Fucking this. You know, it's, oh well, I mean that's vanities, but you know, unlike vanities, you can't just you know space another card in the vanities. You, go, you gotta kill this, you know, or you gotta take out the monster. But you know, depending on that, might be kind of difficult to do when you can't summon a monster that's twenty five hundred or less attack. You know, less than more than. Yeah, this card wouldn't be that good at less than. Like yeah, yeah, I got the spark. Yeah, I can go ahead and block the destruction of this dragon bond. What you going to do about it? You want to fight about it? <laughs> what? Well, you better summon something that's stronger than 2500 because... And that's going to be kind of difficult. You know, it's going to be definitely kind of difficult. And it says equal to, though. You know? So there's just all, all the more incentive to go ahead. And if you're not running Dark Rebellion, run Dark, Dark Rebellion for this. But the antithesis, if you're not running Diamond Crab King for dealing with towers... You should run it for this situation when this card comes out because that's the perfect way. If you can go ahead and summon, get two monsters on the field without special summoning that are lower than 2500 attack, just XC those two, bam, Diamond Crab King. Actually, you know what? No, you can't because it's, when it's summoned, it's actually zero. My bad. I keep on forgetting that when it's summoned, it's not 3000. It just goes up to 3000 with its effect. Ooh. I'm bad. I'm bad. I just realized that when I said that. No, I mean, you should be running a Diamond Craft King anyway, because dealing with towers is great, but we're not talking about that. So, damn. If your opponent sparks you and then sucks this up, holy shit. Ooh, shit. I don't know. Fucking... I don't know. Maybe, maybe Compulse or Deep... Well, I mean, no, I'm not saying that you're going to be relevant, but it's just one of the decks that can bust out, you know, a dragon very easily. That's 2,500, so... I don't know. I don't know. That might be the Snuggles. It might be the Snuggles. <sighs> I, I mean, if Necros are still good by the time this comes out, then Necros could easily clean that up real quick because, you know, it doesn't stop them from dropping their big boss monsters. I mean, at least it stops them from summoning a Burrito to bounce your dragon, but back to the extra deck, but, you know, who really needs summoning Burrito? You know, they can go ahead and drop that Valk. They can go ahead and drop that Trish. So, it doesn't really stop that. What else? 
Shadows, I mean, it doesn't stop them from summoning a construct on you. You know? And they just go, oh, you have an extra deck monster? I don't care if you have Dragon's Bind. You know? I'm gonna go ahead and activate Shadow Fusion. You can tell Extract Monster, send a light, send a dark. Let's go ahead and send a dragon, why not? Summon Construct, pop that dragon's line, because if it was gonna be a problem before, not anymore, and I'm gonna kill that dragon with Construct, so. So it's not really a problem for shit alls. Uh, Teller Knights, yeah, kind of, it's kind of a problem. Definitely, if you can go ahead and bust down a dragon and flip this up, and they don't have, you know, a Teller Knight on the field to block you with their counter trap, or, you know, some way to get rid of it, the snuggles, the snuggles are gonna be real. The snuggles are going to be real. So, yep. <laughs> it's like, oh, Altair, I can't summon the Neb. You know, I cannot go, I, I can't even freaking go into Exiton to wipe you. Can't go into Castell, can't go into 101, can't go into Truth, can't go into Deltro. It's like, damn, god damn. You know, can't go into Ptolemyos to even put the diamond on top. So, whew. So, tell me like that hurts. Uh, what else? Cosmos? Cosmos are, mm, 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 yeah. Uh, of course, they can't summon Slip Rider, but they can summon Forerunner, and Forerunner can run over your dragon. So that's meh. It depends on how well they open. That definitely does. I'd say it's not really good against Cosmos, just because. I mean, the thing is, they can't summon that special summon that Garagito, so that's good. But you know, they still have you know, uh, Forerunner limit removal. But like I said, they can't run Slip Rider. I mean, they can't summon Slip Rider, and honest, so. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, what else is a meta relevant deck right now? Infernoids. Depends on how well they're mill. Like I said, fucking, uh, of course, Charge of Light begins the cost. So they're going to play Charge, mill three, search for their Light Sworn. And they don't generally don't special summon it. They'll probably just go ahead and normal summon the Riding, get two more mills. So, you know, reasoning, you know, the. They're probably what they're gonna hit reason is gonna be less than, but they can still go ahead and mill, and then the monster just can't be summoned. So, yeah. How would that work? How would the reasoning work? Like, you if you can't find summon the monster, but you get to the monster because of this card, does I guess the card would I guess would you keep milling until you just deck out, or would you go to that monster and then just send it to the grave instead of summoning it because it can't be special summoned, and then reasoning would be done. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section below. I'm kind of confused about that. Anyway, or can you just not activate the reasoning because the dragon's fine? No, it's not like vanities. I just can't summon a monster that has original attack less than 2500. So, who's to say that I won't or will summon that with reasoning? Shit, for all you know, I'm gonna fucking play reasoning and summon Christia. So, and, and by then, you'll, you should probably have enough infernalites, whether that be. A, you know, a Tundle, or Sedimus, or Nuchu, or Deviati. They yeah, can all handle that. That's not bad. Cleese? Mmm. Cleese might have a little bit of difficulty. Now, if you can go ahead and bust out the, the Dark Rebellion and equip it with the Dragon's... Well, not equip it, but activate the Dragon's Bind and target the Dark Rebellion. Cleese can't watch summon any monster with 2500 or less attack. Mmm. Mmm. The Snuggle might be real. It's not, they can't really tend to summon that. But I, that's the best they can do. As uh, play that scout, search that equip, play a monster, equip it. You, of course, can't destroy it by battle, and you also cannot special summon monsters that original attack or less than, because both players. And uh, then next turn, they go ahead and tribute, summon freaking stealth or something, and get rid of you. You know, they said that you can't special summon monsters. I didn't notice anything about normal summoning, so there you go. So that's how Cleaver handle it. I don't know. Cleese just seems so fragile and weak right now. I don't know. Is that power turbo ain't that good? They only have one sacrifice, two scouts, like... like I said, I'm, I'm not... I'm probably being a little bit biased, but... In my opinion, you, you could probably give fucking, uh, Cleese something back, you know? If you want to go ahead and ban towers for more, more tower turbo, that's fine. But you could probably give them something back, because they just seem so fucking weak and fragile right now. It's not even funny. It is not even funny. Anyway... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Ritual Beast. How strong is, uh, Ulti Apelio? Or just Apelio. Yeah, Ulti. No. Ulti Apelio. Not sure how strong he is. I, I want to say he's 23. Hmm. This might be a struggle for them. Depends on how, how strong Ulti Apelio is. I don't feel like looking him up. Guy Apelio can handle the situation fine. You can go ahead and summon him. You can go ahead and summon, you know, but like normal summon, normal summon. 
you know, summon Elder, normal summon another one, go ahead and play my quick play spell, summon Ulti Gaia Pelia, we're on an older dragon. There you go. You know? The thing is, is that this card doesn't leave like Vanity leaves, you know? If your opponent goes ahead and plays like a deep prison or a Mirror Force, go ahead and stop your attack or, you know, problem with you, it's not like Vanity goes too. Just as long as that dragon's on the field. So, in some aspects, it's worse than Vanity, some aspects, it's better than Vanity's, but. You know, I could see a couple people throwing it in to go ahead and just be able to just summon Dark Rebellion, play play this. There you go. So, yeah, it doesn't sound too fun. It doesn't. But hey, what's it gonna do, right? So, I think you should probably go back to playing the MMSTs. I definitely, I mean, even Necros can run it, you know. And with how easily everybody is accessing the Rank 4 pool with Morden coming out and the Clown engine, just go ahead and throw a freaking uh, Dark Rebellion throw. Maybe like two of these. Depends on how many Dark Rebellions you run. You know, do you want it? Do you want to see it more than you see Vanities? Because of course Vanities at one. So maybe you want to play just two Dark Rebellions, two of these. Just go ahead and fill the hole and run straight triple Vanities. The only thing that sucks is that the deck that can only really gates the living shit out of you, i.e. Cleese, they can't really do this. You know, but of course they can only start some Queen monsters. Queen monsters are dragons, so unless you play fucking DNA surgery, that ain't happening. So. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about this card and tell me some of the strategies and plays that you would do with it. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, card review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And, yeah, see you guys next month with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.